my goodness. Huh? What on earth are you wearing? Uh, my bathing suit, obviously. <laughs> I would be in a pool. <laughs> oh, you mean this? Yes. This beautiful handmade cow? Yeah. Well, you know, it's 89 degrees, but when you're in a pool with a breeze, it gets a little chilly. I thought maybe, not that I'm trying to show it off or anything. Yes, you are. <laughs> but my cow is done. Yay! Finally. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty much knit all by yourself. Yes. I'm so proud of you. And I did binding on it today. Binding off. Binding off I did on it. Yep, he bound off the shawl it all. It was annoying, but I did it. I started and the in... purling was annoying, but I did it. A lot of knitters don't like to purl. No, I like to register knit. Purling's yeah. okay once you do it. Purling it, take, is... it takes a few stitches to get used to what you're doing again. Yes. So, but once you are, it's okay. Actually, maybe it's a little bit easier. Well, when you do ribbing on your socks, you're going to have to do knit one, purl one, or knit two, purl two. Oh, okay. So that gets a little confusing, oh. but I'll teach you. But anyway. I'm so proud. Here it is. Uh, when I do my socks, I can't be in a pool with them, though. No, that won't work out No, that well. wouldn't work out. But by the time I get done with socks, it'll be snowing. That uh, could be. <laughs> we shall see. But anyway, okay, I will see you shortly. Let me climb out of the pool and assume my chair. Awesome, if the cat's not in it. See you later. Bye. Hi, I'm Sharon. And hi, I'm Rich, better known as the Yarn Boy. So welcome everybody to... Episode 167. Yes, hey, 167. Seven. seven rhymes with heaven. Heaven, I'm in heaven, <laughs> and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak, and I'm finding all the feelings that I seek, we're out together dancing cheek to cheek. <laughs> who, who sang that song? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Come on. I like the old songs. I can't help it. Oh, so do I. Dancing? I don't know. You don't know? There's no. one line in there that gives you the, tells you exactly who it is. One word. Well, tell me the word. Dancing. Fred Astaire? Yes, of course. He did? Of course. In the movie uh, Cheek to Cheek, yes, with Ginger Rogers. Oh, okay. Every, yeah. It was, there was a movie? Yes, he was in a lot of movies. I know, but I didn't know there was a movie. There was a movie called Cheek to Cheek? I, I don't know. It no, was I a don't movie. think so. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe there was. I'll have to look that up on the internet. Heaven, I'm in heaven. When we're all together dancing cheek to cheek. And tell you the answer down below. The internet doesn't tell you anything. But anyway, here okay. we are. 167. <laughs> and it's, oh, it's 87 degrees. It's hot. It's hot. How'd you like my, I hope you like my cow in the pool. I need it. It was a little chilly in the water, so I had to put yeah. my cow. But I will show it to you to start off the show. Finally. Wow, Rich is starting it off already. It but he's is. so excited. It's done. <gasps> Completely look done. How pretty. Uh, you know, I guess it doesn't look like much, but it's better than a coaster. Much better than a coaster, and it looks like a lot. First yeah. of all, the yarn is beautiful. It's mine. In the Beach Boy colorway, I think I named it. Mm -hmm. So I just have to steam block this because it's curling a little yes, bit. Yes, I noticed. That's okay. But that's okay. It's absolutely gorgeous, honey. Yeah. I am so proud of you. I worked very hard on this today. I know you. You worked hard on it for like a month, which I is I was almost good. done in that, and then it came the purling. Purl one, knit one. But you know what? Me. You picked up purling really well. And then today, the what did it, what was that? Binding? No. Binding, Binding off. Binding off. Oh. So I showed Rich how to bind off, and when I was out. This afternoon, Rich bound off all by himself after I showed him, and he did a beautiful job. It's not too tight. Look at that. You did a great job, honey. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, me too. I'm very proud. It looks, and it feels awesome because this is my DK base, and it's got cashmere in it. It's my posh, posh DK base, which I'm out of right now, but I'm going to get some in in like two weeks. But 
I love it. It's just great for hats and mittens, and it's fabulous. There's a plane going over, so I gotta. My apologies for the background noise. All of the crickets and cicadas are out this time of year, so you're gonna hear this, you know, chirping in the background. I'm sorry. And last week I had a bird in the background that oh. got, was very distracting to some people. So I am so proud of you, honey. What are you drinking today? Just a beer. It's hot out here. Oh, a beer. A beer with a little orange slice or yeah. grapefruit? Orange slice. It is hot. I'm going to go swimming pretty much. I'm going to make myself a oh, dinner. Do you notice anything different about the sitch mistress? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought it was, I was blown away when I, she came home uh, and I saw it. I think it looks fantastic thank on you. you. I love it. That short. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. My hair makes you look does... younger, too. Wow. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to Disney World on Sunday and it is hot in Disney World, so I decided... Really? Hot in August in Disney World? Oh. It needs to go. I need to have it, like, short on the sides. So I like it. I love it. I would never go to Disney in the summer. Well, you did last year. Oh, it was a torture. It was not torture. You had a ball. You well, had the best time. Except when we, you had to go out. <laughs> we spent a lot of time in the pool at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh, it was a we beautiful definitely pool. did. It was gorgeous. Oh, yeah. there won't be a episode 168. Will not be next week because she won't be here. Yeah, I have a lot to talk about with that. Yeah, I will not be here next week. The yarn boy doesn't know how to use the equipment. And womp, womp. the yarn boy will try and ship orders, but the yarn boy is not too experienced at this. So, if you order two skeins of yarn and get a pair of men's American Eagle shorts, size 33, that, that's the way it goes. What can I tell you? I'm just giving you a warning. So, yes, so, let's go right into housekeeping. So Let's move right on with the show. Let's, but let's talk a little bit about me being away. So, I'm leaving on... Sunday the 28th. I'm coming back the following Sunday, the day before Labor Day. I don't know the date, September 3rd or something. And I'm leaving on a jet plane. I'm leaving, leaving the on a jet plane. Oh. <laughs> I'm leaving the store open. However, all of the bag sets, all of the multi skein sets, all of that will not be in my shop for that week. The reason being twofold. I don't want to confuse. The yarn boy <laughs> and doesn't take much to confuse the yarn boy trust me <laughs> reason number two i'm having a sale so starting on the day i leave sunday august 28th i am having a sale on just the skeins that will be in the shop that week well, and sure, run a sale while you're away. I am running a sale. Be ordering things and I'll be running around trying to print out all this stuff and, and jamming the computer. Oh. Yarn Boy will be packing up your orders with his own two hands. <laughs> like I said, if you get a pair of American Eagle shorts, you'll <laughs> don't complain. So anyway, oh, I'm having good. a sale. It's going to be 20% off anything in, in the shop. And like I said, all of the sets will be out of there. All of the bags will be out of there because it's just stuff that I've already dyed already and if you wait till September 1st it'll be 30% off oh no so anyway I just and the reason I'm doing that you to torture me so no. I can't have a nice time without you so no. that I will remember you by cussing you out day in and day out trying to figure all this out the reason I'm doing that is because did you know August 31st is a very special day and that happens next week it's August 31st first day of school not no. Well, it's the first day of school for, for teachers. Some people, not us. Yeah, the people it's the that teach. Superintendents for a Conference Day training, and we don't have to go. Which so is what, what's August thirty first? Other than that, August thirty first is the day that my Etsy shop went live last year. So my business is one year old next week. Oh, oh okay. Isn't that exciting? With me being shipping, it might not get any older. <laughs> One year old. I have almost 600 sales on Etsy, which I am super proud of. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have bought a skein of yarn or multiple skeins for me. Thank you so much. And bags from Donna, too. 
We are having a blast doing the shop. Rich is starting to help. He's doing a good job. He is. He, he kids. He just needs to learn how to do it on his own. So we're working on it. But thank you again to everyone for purchasing from the shop. So I'm super excited. And after I come back, I have some awesome announcements. We're going to do some fun things for the fall and the winter, and you'll hear all about that next week. And that's it. Okay. Okay, so the coupon code for the sale is Happy Birthday. That's a big coupon code to key in, isn't it? Happy Birthday. Everybody knows how to spell Happy Birthday. All one word. I would have put down as two words. I wouldn't have got a coupon code. So I'll, I'll put the coupon code in the description box down below on YouTube so you'll be able to see it there and it's happy birthday because my shop is one year old next week I just looked up the dates it starts Sunday August 27th and it ends Sunday September 3rd the day all the days that I'm away I'm only gonna ship one day so <laughs> maybe on Wednesday I'll look at it and see what's out there well, I'm going to text you when things, you know. No, I'll ignore your texts. I'll delete them. I'll hide my phone so I can't <laughs> have to look at it. All right, so that's it. So let's get on with the show, babe. Yes, let's. Okay. So you've already talked about what you've been knitting, which I think is amazing, and I'm really proud of you. So yeah, I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been knitting on three things. So let me show you what I've been working on a lot, and that is my Oracle Shawl by Vine, Kristen, of Vine Yarns, and it's coming out great. Look, I'm on the lace part now. See the lace? Where? The green. Oh. You can't really see it till I stretch it out. Oh, okay. So this is my hand dyed yarn in the Pretty Poison colorway. I think that there's one in the shop. But it will go down on, on Saturday because it won't be on sale. So I love it. The lace is taking me a really long time because I have probably 500 stitches on the needle. That's a lot. Oh. It's, it's going to get really big. I'll start mine next week. Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to start a sock for you. Okay. Not for next week. You're not gonna... I have other things to do. Okay. I have all this outside work I've been pushing off because <gasps> of you. And, oh. and that's what I intended to do. When you're away, I can work. Yay! When you're here, I can't. I know. Why? Because you're a bad influence. <laughs> that's why. We have too much fun together, you guys. Way too much fun. It's no, not I, I need good. to get this stuff done. Yeah. All right, so let me just show this. So this is the Oracle Shawl. And I love it. I love the brioche. I love the lace. It's just... It's just my jam. It's totally my jam. Little belly button start. Been meaning to vlog about it, but honestly, I've been so busy dyeing yarn, I have not had time to vlog. I apologize. I'm hoping that will be better once, I don't know, once the weather gets a little worse and I have more time inside. Looks like it's going to get a little worse in about five minutes. Yeah, it's starting to get cloudy. All right, let's move this along. Okay, so I picked up an old work in progress, or whip, mm -hmm. and I decided to start working on it again, and I couldn't be happier with it. So this is the Easy Shawl by Martina Bem, and this is my yarn. I dyed this last year. This is the... It was a this, big bee. Yeah, it was a big bee. This is the... Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Rich is ready for the bee. This is the Halloween Horror Night colorway. And I absolutely love this color and how this is coming out. This one has... I purposefully dyed this one for myself with more grays and... It's got purples and little pops of orange, and I love it. It's awesome. So, I plan on bringing this to Florida on the plane. It's just a simple 
two row repeat so easy I mean it's easy the name of it is easy and you just knit back and forth I will put a link to the pattern in the show notes and I'm hoping to be almost done with it maybe when I come back who knows I'm not I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to knit but we'll see so then I started another project, a new project. Oh, I was going to start two, but I decided to only start one. I restrained myself because I have a lot on the needles right now, which is unusual for me. But I had to bring a sock. So this yarn is probably one of the most stunning sock yarns I've ever seen. And this is dyed by Lara of Jinx Yarns, who is a knitty friend of mine. And just absolutely stunningly gorgeous. This is Jinx palette colorway. Sometimes she takes requests. If you really want to see this color in her shop, she's dying right now because it's fall and that's when she does a lot of her dyeing. And it's a self striper, six stripes. So I did a full repeat of the stripes and I'm going to bring it up close so you guys can see. So this bottom color is gold, then like a silver, a green, and then more of a turquoise green, blue, red, and now I'm back on the gold. And these colors are just so rich and gorgeous. I absolutely love them. They're beautiful. So I'm really enjoying knitting on that. And this is going to be my plain knitting, and the shawl will be my plain knitting. I can't knit socks for very long because my hands get um, sore, but I love it. My hands get sore because it's such a tight gauge for me, and I, I tend to cramp up my hands when I knit socks. So I needed a looser gauge shawl project, and that is all I'm bringing with me actively, but I am going to bring some yarn with me, and I'll tell you why in a minute. A Nicky Mick, knit Mickey a house, a hat. <laughs> I would if I could. I don't think that the cast knit members. Knit mirror covers, will you? I don't think Mickey's allowed to accept gifts from guests. No. I don't believe that they're allowed to accept gifts. The cast members. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> okay. That's it. Well, that's the show for tonight. Why is that furry thing on there? It's called a. It's got a really rude name. You really, want, you really want to know what, it, what it's called? How come that's on there? And I'll explain it in a moment. I'll tell you what it's called. It's called a dead cat. Oh, looks like a dead cat. And the reason it's on there is because it's windy today. It's a furry sleeve that goes over my microphone. So if the wind blows the microphone, it's not going to make that sound. Okay. That's why. It muffles okay. the wind. Dead cat. Could be called cool. a wind scarf, not a dead cat. I that's know, isn't that crude? Name isn't for that it. crude? It's yeah. terrible. Tom, don't. But that's in the in the photography industry or the video industry. That's what it's called. Okay. Speaking of cats, but he's very much alive, thankfully, because we love him. You are just so curious. Want to come up here? He hmm. won't ever jump on my lap. No, never. He'll jump on Richie's lap, but he maybe. Won't... If Welcome he's in a mood. Daddy. He's not in the okay. mood. Okay. You ready to anyway. show some yarn? Yeah, go show some yarn. Go ahead. All right. I'll play with the cat. Okay. Well, you're yarn boy. You have to... So we have a bag this week. And if you want any of the, what I'm showing you, like as far as bags or, or multi-skein sets, you better get them before Saturday because they're going down. <laughs> so... This is the yarn. You want to pick up the bag and sh show the bag? Oh. Okay. Ooh. Woo! Oh. It's Jack Skellington yeah. from the Nightmare oh. Before Christmas. Ooh. And the, the colorway obviously has to be called Jack. So Donna texted me while I was running last week. Just an orange lining, oh, okay. so, so pretty. So Donna texted me while I was running last week, and she texted me pictures of fabric. Like, I put it on Instagram, and a lot of you guys got excited about it. 
because we have five, I think we have six fall themed and Halloween bags coming your way, one per week. We only have four of these Jack Skellington bags, so if you guys want these, I would jump on it. So this is, like I said, this is the yarn that goes with it. This beautiful black and gray and orange, and I love it. I'm really happy with how it came out. This next thing I am super excited about and super proud of because there is a knit along starting August 31st. I believe it's August 31st or September 1st, which is actually commemorating my birthday to my, of my shop by um, and Andrea Mowry, Dre Renee Knits, and that is the What the Fade Knit Along. And I believe it involves brioche, which I'm kind of getting into, so I'm super excited about it. So I dyed another fade kit. I had dyed that fall one last week that I showed and it sold out. So thank you so much. So I dyed, are you ready? You dyed, that's a horrible thing. I say. dyed a Disney themed fade. Oh, wow, a <laughs> Disney theme. So I wanted, I was just, debating whether to cast on the fall one that I dyed, but I decided not to because my Find Your Fade shawl is kind of in those mute, more muted fall colors. So I decided I wanted to knit a bright one for myself. So I dyed up three sets, two will be in my shop, only two. So if you want one, again, Wednesday, 8 o'clock p.m. At, on my Etsy shop, Eastern Time. So this is the Disney fade. Okay, let's get closer to the camera. Okay. So this yellow one on the left is Belle because Belle's beautiful dress. And it's got these beautiful gold and pink speckles. This next one is a, another brand new colorway that I just decided to dye to go with the set. This one here is going to be called Twitter Pated. Why? I'm afraid to ask. Because Bambi's 75th anniversary is coming up. Only you would know that. <laughs> I just heard that today, actually. Okay. But anyway, All Bambi's right, wow. 75th Please, oh, birthday is coming up of the movie, and I love the movie Bambi. Okay. Next one. And Bambi gets Twitter painted. He falls in love. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so this so one. He got shot. He, no, the mother got oh, shot. Okay. It's really sad. Okay, so this next one is called. Happily Ever After, and this is a colorway that has been in my shop before. And this, what's this one called? This is Aurora. This has been in my shop before, but it really um, coordinates. This next one here, this beautiful blue and purpley one, that's Ariel. It looks a lot like Magical Mermaid, but it's got a little more green and a little more speckle to it. Oh. And then oh, the very God. last one, we have to have a villain, right? It's what? We have to have a villain. Oh. A Disney villain. Who could your Disney villain be? Jafar? Not Jafar. That's not Jafar colors. No, it's not. Maleficent. Who oh am I? I'm a Are villain. Are you listening? No. It's Maleficent. This purpley one. I, oh, I thought she was good. Maleficent? Well, that one movie she was good, but not in the Sleeping Beauty movie. She's not good at all. No. She's mean. But anyway, this one on the end is mo so. This is my Disney fade. I absolutely mm. love it. I'm bringing these two with me because I'm hoping to cast on when we're away. And hold them up, and everybody will come running. No, I'm and gonna say, have Disney them. Colors. Oh boy! No, people don't knit in Disney. Only me. So <laughs> I'm going to wind these two and bring them with me, and oh. I'll download the pattern while I'm there. Oh well, that's exciting. It's extremely exciting. And who's going? Oh, Emily drew the short store to go with you. Know <laughs> Emily loves Disney. <laughs> it was her idea. She wanted to go. How come Troy's not going? Because he's in school. No, no, he's not. Yes, oh, he, yes is. he is. He, he goes to school, school next on, week. Yes, Monday. I mean, I'll be home all alone. Pretty much, because he's busy. He's in school every day, and then he's working. You're home all alone. You're going to be really lonely. I'm really going to be lonely. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. So now hear more. Oh, man. God, that was <laughs> done with all this. Jesus, what the hell? Oh, my oh. gosh. 
This is really? the same color, isn't I it? I know. Well, this one is Maleficent, but it came out a little more purpley. And I got I, a lot of Maleficent. Say, so buy them. It's more purpley and more black, and I love it. So this is this is just another version of Maleficent. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So this will be in my shop as regular skeins. Okay. You. I dyed some Bell, in case you don't want to buy the whole set. If you like this beautiful, this yellow is killing me. I love this pale yellow, love. I don't like a real bright yellow, but this pale yellow with these little speckles, it's coming off a little too pale on the camera. It's a little more yellow than that. This is a pale yellow. This is Bell. I have one more in there, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So I dyed some more Magical Mermaid. This is Magical Mermaid. And it's beautiful. It came out more blue got purple speckles, a little bit of green, and that's that? it. Okay. So the shop update will be this Wednesday, August 23rd. Wow. Yep, August 23rd, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And yeah, like I said, all the multiple sets are going to go down on Saturday. So if you want something, yeah. Buy it now because there might not be anything left. I don't know. All right. So I want to do a giveaway okay. for mm -hmm. patterns with the Game of Thrones knit along. Oh. And thank you so much who's been posting. I have over 100 posts in the chatter thread. Not as many posts in the progress thread. So if you guys want to win a prize, which is three skeins of my hand dyed yarn, post and you could even start the knit along this week because you don't have to finish just show me what you're going to be knitting and talk about it in the in the progress thread so um game of thrones is ending next week already can you believe that you won't be here to watch the ending i will not be here to watch the ending <laughs> so i'm going to wait till the following week and i'll watch the ending alone maybe you'll watch it with me Maybe. If we'll it's see. good, I'll probably have watched it seven times. Probably. So, the season finale is next Sunday, the 27th, and I will be in Disney already when it airs. And so, the knit along is, will pretty much be over the day I come home, which will be September 3rd. So, I'll close the thread then. So, you have two more weeks to enter the progress thread, and then the following week, I will do the drawing for the yarn giveaway. Okay. So I have two patterns to give away from the chatter thread. Winner number one is number 62, Saikuna Heidi from Berlin. Whoa, from Berlin? Yes. She won a pattern. Isn't that Whoa. cool? So Heidi, get in touch with me on Ravelry and I will gift you the pattern. Do it before Sunday because I'm probably not going to be online much next week. All right, and then the second winner of a pattern, up to $6, you guys, is number 20. And I think it's YT2O's, sorry, Rosalie, Rosalie from Maryland. So, Rosalie, congratulations. You have won a pattern of your choice up to $6. Contact me on Ravelry. Just PM me, and I will get you your pattern. Okay. Yep. So that was eight weeks went by fast. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. Time flies when you're having fun. Eight weeks? Is it eight weeks already? How many weeks was that on? Seven weeks? Yeah. How many episodes? Eight, eight. Yeah. So seven weeks, eight episodes. Wow. I can't believe how fast that went. That's that's insane to me. Now we have to wait, what, 17 more years for the next season? I think you have to wait I, probably... A, not it's probably not going to be next it might be two years i don't know or it could mm. be next summer i'm not really sure but it's been a really good season i've really been enjoying game of thrones this year so that's been great 
Anything else you want to add, hon? Mm -mm. That was a lot of information, you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm going to be unindated next week. I know it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I don't Perhaps. know. Well, they want a pair of American, pair Eagle, of American shorts. Eagle shorts. I'm going to send them when they like it or not. Are you going to write little notes to everybody? Yeah. No. You're lucky if this is right. <laughs> Yarn boy. That's a little scary. I don't know what he's going to write to you guys. So we'll see. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay what? I don't know. Okay, right, <laughs> what, who, where, when? <laughs> I was going to end the show. I don't think oh, there's anything we? else. Good, yes, let's so end it. I think there's nothing else to talk about. No. Except for I'm excited about my trip. That makes two of us. <laughs> I'm excited about the fall because there's so many fun knit-alongs. I'm excited to cast on that that um, Andrea Maori Drea Renee, Renee Knits Shawl, which is a mystery knit-along. I wanted to do the Hohi Locatelli mystery knit-along. I didn't have time. And I wanted to dye yarn for it. Didn't have time. I was still working. Not not working at my other job anymore, but I'm no, working at this working. job. I work every day, right? Mm-hmm. It's fun. Okay, let's end it. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching so mm -hmm. much. Have a great what? And it won't be a show next week. No show next week. No show, show next, next week. week. The next show will be sometime September 4th, September 5th. And I have lots to tell you about what Donna and I have planned for the fall, so that's exciting. Well, we're going away too in September. We're going to be away for a week in September, but that's a ways away. No. We're going to vlog during that week, so you'll still yeah. see us. There won't be any yarn updates, but you'll see us. Okay. So. Have a great week. And happy knitting. And cheers. cheers. Well, you asked me if it was recording and you said see it a little dot. And there was no little <laughs> Is dot. Is there a little dot now? Yes, I'm I'm there. That's all that matters, as long as I'm in it. Do you see Hi. the... Hi! Uh, do I see... Yes, I see the little line bars okay. jumping up and down. Uh-oh. What? I know. Tom is in your seat. Tom... You're in a director's chair, Tom. Not seat. a good spot. You won't be Ooh. working anymore. He is a baby. Daddy's big baby. Oh my god, he's so spoiled. Yes, he's daddy's big he baby. He is the most spoiled cat. Big baby. All right, dude. Out. Gross. No, he doesn't At listen to all. you. Oh, he never <laughs> listens to me. Hey, you got to do it. But he does that every single podcast. Okay. So they fell on the ground. The evil ants will get them. No. We have evil ants. A couple of crummy uncles, too, but mostly evil ants. Okay, that's it. That's it. We're done. Mm-hmm.